good afternoon. My name is Elsa Bonilla, and I'm going to be doing a presentation for one of my classes for Prescott College. And um, the class is on behavior management, as, as well as the class that you are taking right now. And the topic that we are going to be touching on um, right now, the topic that I chose to, um, to talk about responding to children who bite. And we all know that this is a, um, a common, a common um, thing amongst children, especially children that are around the age of, would you guys want to guess when biting happens the most? Three, four. Three, four. Three, four? Three, four. Yeah. Would you agree with that? Would everybody agree with that? Or two, three, two, three. Two, three. Well, actually, it happens when a child. It, it, it happens from um, from when um, you know a child starts to to communicate. Maybe when a child starts to try to to when they're teething. There's many reasons why a child will start to bite. Um, but I do have some information here for you. According to the American Psychological Association, between a third and a half of all toddlers in childcare are bitten by another child. Does this surprise you? No, right? So, um, biting is a stage that many young children go through, and like other types of challenging behavior, it is often assumed that a child will do this because they're frustrated or because they're angry, right? So, do you think children are trying to tell us something when they're biting? So reasons children bite. Why do you think children children tend to bite in a classroom at home? They get angry at somebody because they're really getting back. Okay, they get angry at somebody. Maybe they're they you think they're trying to get back. Yeah. What do you? Uh, it hurts. Showing them that what? The, um, like biting them it hurts them. The uh -huh. Okay, maybe a re they like to see the reaction of other children, right? Like a power thing. <laughs> maybe like a power thing. Maybe they're showing their their authority. authority. <laughs> it could be. Maybe they're they're trying to show the other children, express the children um, something that they're feeling or something that they're seeing. Um, would, do you have any ideas of why children would bite in a classroom? Oh, yeah. I guess to get better, I, I don't know. Okay. He was frustrated with her, or he's frustrated. He was yeah, frustrated. Oh, maybe he just wanted to bite or something. Yeah, something maybe more. the sensation of yeah. it. Yeah. Well, maybe they think they're just biting and don't realize they're hurting somebody. Right, yeah. right. So there's many reasons why children bite. <laughs> so um, sometimes they have not learned self-control. Um, I did in one of my sessions we talked about children learning self-control it's something that they have to learn through experiences through play um, and sometimes it's teething children you know it, it hurts it, it, you know they're in pain their their gums are, are are all swelled up so they're looking for something to to give them some relief right so sometimes it's another child um, explore cause and effect they're experimenting. They see the reactions from other children, right? And they see that the child cries and they go ahead and bite again and see, oh, I bite, he cries. I bite, he cries. And so it's a cause and effect. They're learning, right? Uh, to communicate needs and desires. <laughs> children that's, that are biting are usually children that can't talk yet. So, um, you know, they, they are learning to communicate their needs and sometimes biting is the only way that they know how. Um, also to satisfy a need for oral stimulation, right? Sometimes they have to have something in their mouth all the time. Maybe like in the younger classroom, they have like a specified, a specific um, teething ring, maybe at home. If your child is biting their siblings, you could give them a teething ring uh, or maybe something that they could, that they could, um, you know, uh, satisfy their oral stimulation, right? Um, communicate and express their feelings. Uh, sometimes they have challenges of playing with others. 
Playing with others takes practice. And, and infants and toddlers are learning how to play. So sometimes they will bite when they're having challenges, like, you know, they're trying to learn how to share or somebody takes something away from them, their reaction is to bite. Sometimes there's just imitating other children, right? Sometimes they see, it's like monkey see, monkey do. Um, and oh, uh, an overstimulating classroom, sometimes the classroom is way too busy, way too loud, there's too many activities going on, and a child gets overstimulated and the, and the only relief they get is by either biting another child or biting something. So uh, if you have like a calming classroom, it'll eliminate a lot of that biting. And sometimes because they are hungry, you know, and a lot of the reasons why they bite is because they are hungry. So we have to observe the child to see actually what's going on, right? Right? And anywhere here, do we see that the child is, they are biting because they're bad? Because they're evil children? Right? It's usually because it's a need that they have to express, right? So why, why do children bite? And what can you do when a child bites? What, 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 in your experience in, in a classroom or if you're close to a classroom setting or with children um, that you take care of, your own children, uh, what would you do when they would bite? What do you think happens in the classroom when a child bites? Or what stories have you heard? Explain to them that it's not um, nice. Okay. Explaining to them, letting them know that it hurts, right? Okay, um, any other ideas of what else we can do? You can ask them why they were biting you as a child, and then figure out like one of the problems that you had up there and correct it, and then, ex you, like she said, they explain that biting is not good. That biting is Right, right, and and some of the things is like if um, one of the things that 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 is observed when children bite is that they're usually at an age where they're having difficulty communicating. You know the reason why they're they're biting. Yeah, so um, yeah, we can ask them, and some children are capable of letting you know. Yeah, because so. like one of those that said they were hungry. A hungry. The child could have just been hungry, hungry. You know. Yeah. So. Um, but can you observe, uh, absorb where and where this is happening? You know, maybe is it, it's in a noisy classroom. Maybe it's in a place where there isn't enough toys. Um, so you have to really see where the child is at. Maybe it's in a place where it's really small and, and a child feels trapped and this is their way of trying to, you know, um, uh, feel relieved, right? Uh, you have to have an age appropriate expectation that match a child's individual developmental needs and interests based on their skills and ability. So if you have a one-year-old and he continues to bite, you know that this is a stage that a child goes through, so you, you know that you're gonna expect this from a one-year-old. Now, if you look at a child who's three, you know you can work with a child and your expectations are different now. You know that if you work with a child one-on-one -on -one that's three, the, the biting is gonna diminish quicker than it's gonna diminish with a one-year-old. Yes. Um, could a child be um, jealous, jealous it could, of the other little one? And, uh, and they could buy, yeah, it could be that they're trying to express that they're being jealous and they don't know how to say it. You know, a lot of the biting is because they're trying to express what, what you know, something that is bothering them. So, um, um, also make sure you have a predictable schedule that, that helps because children who feel un you know, uh, like not in control, tend to um, act out, right? Try activities that can relax a child, like deep breathing exercises, soft music, stress balls, provide positive feedback when they use their words instead of biting. I saw that you told them no instead of biting. Wow, you know, and then uh, redirect and suggest a child with things that are acceptable to bite. And then uh, support families. You know, there's a lot of handouts that you could tell, um, you know, the families, um, uh, 
that they could look up online to see what they could, you know, for support and offer oral stimulation by, you know, offering crunchy snacks. Sometimes if you offer children cr crunchy snacks during lunchtime, if they're able to, like crackers, that could help their stimulation with biting. Okay, so um, what to do when this happens? Um, well, if you see a biting incident, you need to move quickly, right? Remove the child um, from, from the other child that he's biting and um, you want to let that child know it is not okay for you to bite. You need to stop and that's, and then you walk away, right? You let the child know and you can let them know, look, when you calm down, we'll talk about this. But you wanna respond to the child who, who got bit and you wanna put most of the attention to the child who got bit and, and try to calm them and soothe them so they can know that it's a safe place to be and you need to let them know that you know this is a time that you know little billy who bit you is learning how to use his words so let's remind them with your words right finally talk to the child who did the biting maintain eye contact and speak in simple words using a calm firm tone of voice restate the rule biting is not allowed and model the use of words that describe their feelings you know biting is not allowed it hurt the child i understand you were frustrated and angry but let's do this instead and it's a it's it you have to be constantly reminding children of this okay and um offer comfort through words and actions and um what to do with biting continues be patient continue to observe stay calm stay with the child who's biting and shadow them make sure you're watching them right uh, continue to provide words for their action. Read books about, te uh, about teeth and what things are appropriate to choose. And call your pediatrician if behavior continues as nocturne. But don't give up. Don't give up. And a lot of preschools uh, you, uh, kick out children for biting. But be the advocates for their children and know that um, this is a stage and that we could guide them through this stage. Does anybody have any questions? And these are another what not to do. Uh, avoid labeling um, child as a biter. Never bite a child back. Avoid shaming and yelling at, a ch at children. Avoid giving too much attention to the child who bit. And don't punish a child who bites. Guide them towards a, a, a good um, behavior. Um, and uh, those are just books about biting. Those are just ideas. and. Um, any questions? Aren't there some parents that do that, that they'll bite their child back? Yes, they will, and that's why we're there to explain to them, to give them information on, you know, what is the right thing to do when your child bites. Yeah. Sometimes it seems like that works. It seems like that, yeah, it, it, it seems like it works because it hurts them, but behind your back, when you're not watching, they didn't learn the behavior that they're supposed to be using. So behind the parents back when they're not watching, they'll just go ahead and bite. Yeah, yeah they won't do it in front of you. Yeah, also too, I know that uh, one of my cousins had her daughter in um, kindergarten, I think. Uh -huh. And she was doing that, she was biting and biting him. And then um, she took him to the dentist and she had a cavity. She had a cavity. And that's why it works, that's why she was biting. But she got the cavity. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but unfortunately they do. The children get punished. And, and it should be the adults guiding the children too so they could get through this stage of their life. Right. Any other questions? Okay, um, well thank you very much and um, um, you could have a copy of this PowerPoint if you like. So um, thank you.